welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke and welcome to your June 2015 tarot forecast. This reading is for Pisces and Pisces we're sliding into June. Mercury retrograde goes direct June 11th. Thank God because I really felt it this time around again. Mercury retrograde will happen a few times a year. And essentially it means Mercury, the planet Mercury, is going backwards. Okay, it's going backwards. And it's going backwards and it has an effect on us. So they often say revisit past loves, revisit past lives, revisit things in the past. And you may hear of someone coming back from your past you know someone may appear on the scene that was once in your past and i'm kind of like you know what <laughs> i don't really want to revisit any of those from my past especially in past relationships they can stay there where they are because i don't really want to see them or hear from them or talk to them or whatever i have to see them on facebook but that's facebook you can you can adjust your settings on Facebook and not see anything in your news feed if you don't want to click. So, you know, so Mercury retrograde can also have an effect on communications, technology. It's hit me in a few other ways, let me tell you. So, I'm going to be so happy when it turns direct June 11th. I'm going to have a Mercury retrograde goes direct party on June 11th. You all can join me. So, Pisces, uh, thank you for joining me. And excuse my ramblings, I'm a mess. I've had, you can, if you go back and watch other videos, my hair, as you can see, is naturally curly. And we had a thunderstorm today. My hair has been up, it's been down, it's been here, it's been there. For all the readings that I performed today, my hair, I've had like 20 different hairstyles. And it's been crazy. So you're the last sign that I read for, and this is it. <laughs> This is the best that I can do with what God gave me. So this is it. So enjoy. So Pisces, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting, sharing, liking, and welcome new subscribers. So let's get started, Pisces. See what's in store for us because I'm a Pisces too for the month of June. And I haven't used this deck in a long time. And these cards have really been chatty today. Because <laughs> I have a little special magical little tarot box that I keep all my cards in. And it was sitting there and it just kind of like called out to me and I felt sorry for it. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to break them out, which I'm glad I did. Because it's been months since I've used them and they're like, wow. And they've, they've had a lot to say for each sign. So Pisces, there was another sign that had this card, but in a different position, and I cannot find it, but it's a card of walking away, and you used to get this card last year a lot, of walking out of a relationship, or walking out of a situation, and here we see it again, it's the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of walking away from something that you really um, invested something of yourself in, something emotional represented by the Cups. The Eight of Cups is a final ending, a final walking away, which may begin for the month of June in terms of taking a lunar cycle. For my studies, this card traditionally signifies a period of 28 to 30 days or a lunar cycle, like a month's time. So there may be the beginnings for many Pisceans that are watching of leaving a situation that may take you about a month's time to complete. So this could be something that you had much emotions attached to, much emotions invested in. It could be a relationship. It could be a working relationship. It could be your job, your career, or profession. So this card is in your elements or the attributes or the position of such for the month of June. So just be aware of that. 
Now carrying on, we do have a card of ultimate manifestation or being the mastermind in our lives. And you often hear people talk about law of attraction or manifesting things or what, you know, sending it out and what you want you shall receive. And this is the card of the major arcana card, the magician. The magician is a reminder that you really have within yourselves the creativity and what it takes to manifest whatever you want in your lives. It's up to you in terms of generating what you want in your lives, what you're wanting to bring forth into your lives, what you're wanting to create in your lives, what you're wishing of, what you're dreaming of, where you want your life to go. So many people have dream boards. They cut out things and paste it on a dream board. Or they have dream journals and they journal. Or they do different experiments in terms of manifesting things. And it's the age-old knowledge of what is above, so is below. How everything is connected. Whatever you're wanting to send out will come back to you. It's like the law of three. So be careful of what you send out for the month of June and make sure it is in complete alignment of what serves you positively and with a purpose. So it's a generator of bringing forth what you want into your life and manifesting that. So if you are leaving something significant, there may be many of you that are wanting to generate something new. Now next to this card is the Two of Cups. This is a relationship card. This is not a one-sided love. This is between two people. There may be many Pisceans out there that are wanting to generate relationships or generate new relationships or possibly manifest new relationships to come into their lives. This could also be along the levels of doing something with an existing relationship or wanting to take it into another direction as well. But this is all about couples. This is all about doing something with more than one person, togetherness, union, mutual affection may be noted for the month of June, especially in relationships may be noted. So if you are wanting to manifest your desires when it comes to another person and you're wanting to kind of be on the same page together, that may have significance for the month of June. Now for single Pisceans, there may be opportunities to meet someone and there may be a mutual attraction or there may be a mutual affection or mutual exchanges of affection for the month of June. Now following this is a court card and it's the King of Swords. This king has not appeared for any other reading except for Pisces, but the King of Swords is a king of being determined and logical in his decision making, and he's one of being very stoic. He's very serious because he's the decisions he has to make have a lot of purpose to them, and so he's very careful in his logic and in his knowledge when it comes to things. And he's represented by the air sign. So this could be equivalent to any air signs in your life. This could be an actual person in your life. This could all be also be attributes that Piscean men may take on for the month of June or even Piscean women. But the King of Swords is very analytical. He's very intellectual. He's not the happiest king in the deck because he has a lot of responsibility in terms of his thinking process and what needs to be done to delegate or to have purpose with his decision making. So there may be an actual person that has these kind of characteristics or attributes or you may take on these as your, these attributes yourself. So just keep that in mind. Now what's interesting is in the outcome position, you have an ace and it's the ace of pentacles. The ace of pentacles in the outcome position is very relevant in terms of new beginnings, but new beginnings and the outcome going towards the future. The ace of pentacles is a financial opportunity. This is an upswing in finances for the month of June. 
the outcomes of money may be very prevalent for Pisceans. There may be financial opportunities. There may be more job offers coming in. There may be promotions. There may be raises. There may be more, you know, sales. There may be offers coming in. There's going to be an upswing in finances and financial opportunities, which is very positive and wonderful to see for Pisces for the month of June. So there is going to be an upswing in finances. There may be an emotional connection or emotional or mutual attraction with someone in particular. And also going back to manis manifestation. Manifesting things of your own accord and realizing that you can do these yourself. And it really is generated from the mind. And it's up to you and it's generated from you. Plus with the Eight of Cups, Pisces, you may be exiting a situation that's very significant in your lives for the month of June, which will have prevalence or precedence over the rest of these events that may follow possibly for the month. So good luck to you, Pisces. Keep me posted. Don't forget to find me on Facebook, Nightbird Tarot, Twitter, Nightbird Tarot. Find me on Google+. Plus. Check out my Etsy shop, Nightbird Tarot, for the readings that I do offer there, as well as my nightbirdtarot.wordpress blog for the live readings that I offer. Have a great month, Pisces. I'll be back next month. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.